Good evening, I'm Haley Spittler. Today was a busy shopping day for some. And if you're a parent picking out presents for your kids this holiday season, doctors have a warning about some toys that can be dangerous to your child's hearing. As First News at Nine's Max Cotton tells us, audiologists say loud toys can lead to permanent hearing loss. Prevea Health audiologist Kimberly Finland says when buying your kid a toy, you have to think about how they would use it. There are plenty of toys from really commonly known brands that are released uh, producing unsafe sound levels. One concern is when a parent holds a toy, their arms are so much longer that the sound of that toy is actually not getting to the ear in the same way. She says kids hold toys closer to their ears. Finland adds, there isn't a ton of regulation when it comes to the sound of kids' toys. However, that doesn't mean parents can't do anything to mitigate the noise. If you're holding a child's toy and it seems loud to you, it's probably going to seem even louder to that child. One thing you can do to mitigate this is looking up the volume of that toy ahead of time, um, removing the batteries so the toy can't produce any sound at all. She says you can also put a piece of tape over a toy's speakers to reduce its volume. There are also apps you can use to measure sound. Finland says kids can safely use toys under 85 decibels for around eight hours per day. As for devices, there are ways to protect your kids from their peak volume. With most tablets, you are able to access a setting where you can do some sound limiting. With Apple products in particular, we would recommend sending setting the sound limiting at about 70% uh, of the total volume. That would allow the child to listen safely for approximately eight hours. Another option is buying toys that don't make a lot of noise. Imagination Station co-owner Jennifer Quilling sells plenty of those. We work really hard to get a selection of toys that are somewhat of an alternative to the light up, the sound toys. However, if you put a noisy toy under your tree, Make sure your kid plays with it safely. In Eau Claire, Max Cotton, First News at 9. Each year, the Sight and Hearing Association makes a list of the noisiest toys. We have this year's list on our website.